once upon a time, Max woke up with the biggest smile on his face. Today was no ordinary day. It was his birthday. He jumped out of bed and ran downstairs, expecting a big birthday hug and a pile of presents. But when he got there, everything looked the same as every other day. No balloons, no cake, no presents. His mom was making breakfast, his dad was reading the newspaper, and his sister was playing with her toys. Nobody said happy birthday to Max. He felt a little tug in his heart, wondering if everyone had forgotten his special day. He tried to remind them by sitting at the breakfast table with the biggest hint of all, his biggest birthday smile. But still, no one seemed to remember. Max's heart sank a little more, but he didn't say a word about his birthday. As the day went on, Max felt sadder and sadder. He played with his toys, but they didn't seem as fun. He drew pictures, but they didn't look as bright. Even his favorite lunch didn't taste as good. Max thought, maybe if I play outside, my friends will come over and remember my birthday. But when he went outside, the yard was empty. No friends, no happy birthday, no nothing. It was like any other day, but inside, Max felt it was the loneliest day ever. Trying not to be sad, Max decided to go on a little adventure in the backyard, pretending to be a pirate searching for treasure. But even finding the best stick sword didn't make him forget that it seemed like everyone had forgotten his most special day. As the sky began to turn orange and pink, Max knew it was getting late. Maybe they will remember now, he thought, hopeful as he went back inside. But dinner was quiet, just like any other night. No birthday songs, no cake waiting on the table. Max tried to hide the sad little lump in his throat. He ate his dinner, not talking much, and glanced at his mom and dad, hoping they would say something. But nothing happened. After dinner, his mom said, why don't you go and play until bedtime? That's when Max felt a tiny tear roll down his cheek. He whispered to himself, they really did forget. Feeling more alone than ever, Max went to his room, not wanting to play anymore. He lay on his bed, closed his eyes, and tried not to think about his birthday that everyone forgot. Just when Max thought his birthday was the worst day ever, he heard a soft knock on his door. Max, can you come down, his mom called. With a heavy heart, Max went downstairs. But as he reached the bottom, surprise! The lights flicked on, and there stood his family and all his friends, smiling big. Happy birthday, Max, they all shouted. The room was filled with balloons, a big cake with candles, and presents stacked high. Max's eyes grew wide with surprise. You didn't forget, he asked, a huge smile spreading across his face. Of course not, his dad said, giving him a big hug. We wanted to make your birthday a big surprise. Max felt his sad thoughts melt away, replaced by happiness and excitement. He was surrounded by love and joy, making this the best birthday ever. Max's birthday turned into a night full of laughter, games, and loads of cake. He opened his presents, played with his friends, and ate slice after slice of his favorite chocolate cake. As he looked around at all the smiling faces, he felt so loved and special. This was the best surprise ever, Max exclaimed, his heart full of joy. Before bed, Max's mom and dad tucked him in, and he whispered, thank you for the best birthday. His mom kissed his forehead and said, we love you more than all the stars in the sky, Max. That night, Max went to sleep with a big, happy smile. He learned that sometimes when you think people have forgotten you, they might be planning something special to show how much they love you. And with that thought, Max drifted off to dreamland, ending his birthday feeling happier than ever. We hope you enjoyed this story. If you liked this video, please go ahead and push the like button. If you like the content and want to see more, please subscribe to our channel. Goodbye.